What's happening everyone? It's Jesse and I'll be with you guys in a moment. I'm behind the camera right now just making final adjustments before we jump to the front and get this party started. Give me one sec. Hope you guys are all ready to have some fun. We're on here a little bit early. And there's my feed. Fantastic. All right. Carol Weeb. Yes, you can follow along later. For any of you that don't have the chance to paint with me today or right now, the video will be available for you guys to follow along with immediately after the live video is over. Okay, so for those of you that cannot paint right now, the video will be available right afterwards you'll find it under the live tab on the main painting with jesse page just a quick reminder that you do not want to click on any of the links that you see popping up in the comments section i already see one right at the top okay right near the top there is a a spammer nil duper it says paint link watch and paint if you guys see that let's see here ban from page ban buddy now you're getting deleted. We try and ban and delete those guys as quickly as possible, but it's not always easy to spot them. But all right, here we go. What is happening, everyone? My name is Jesse. You guys are on my painting with Jesse Page. And like I said, we're here a little early. Help you guys get situated. Let me lower my music, my background music a little bit. It's a little on the loud side, so let's lower that. What's happening, Joe? Solo y familia. What's happening? You guys are back. Welcome back. Cindy Bo uh, Bowman, how's it going? Shania Anderson says hello, excited. Again, folks, if you're new or you've been around on my page for a while, whatever the case may be, spammers will be posting in the links. I've already seen at least one. So in the comment section of our feed, you're gonna get uh, spammers that jump on and post links to take you to another page somewhere. I don't know, they usually say something like, watch this video live, uh, and they're referencing our painting session today. Uh, they want you to click on it to charge you guys and to try to steal possibly your credit card info and who knows, who knows what else. So please do not click on those links. We're gonna have a pretty good crowd today, as we often do. Uh, so I appreciate all of you guys being here, but the fact that there's so many of us on here, those comments, go by really, really quickly, and it's not always easy for me to see them. Anyhow, got a bunch of uh, all ages folks painting along today. We've got kiddos, we've got adults, we've got a little bit of everything involved today. So uh, I just wanna say hello to everybody. What's happening, Cheryl? What's happening, Katrina Wolfenbarger? Yes, you can re-watch this tonight. Once again, if you guys cannot watch this right now, if you're not able to follow along with me today uh, or at this moment, as soon as the video is over, I post it to the live tab on the main painting with Jesse Page here on Facebook. I promise that I'm also going to try to have it uploaded on my YouTube channel by the end of today. I've got a whole bunch of videos that I'm behind on that I have not loaded up on my YouTube page, but there are quite a few on there. Anyhow, I promise to try to have this one there again uh, at the end of the session today, okay? So for those of you that are looking for that, some people like to have it on, like to watch it on YouTube as opposed to on Facebook, so I like to have it on both. Anyhow, uh, when you guys jump on here, please be sure to say hello, let me know where you guys are painting from, who you're painting with. Like I said, I know we got a bunch of kids, a bunch of teenagers, a bunch of adults that are big Grogu fans, uh, big Yoda fans that are painting along today, and I'd like to know where you guys are joining in from, so please, in the comment section, if you guys can, tell me, you know, say, hello, Jesse, I'm so-and-so, I'm painting from so-and-so, and these are all the people that are painting with me. I'd just like to check that out. Um, we won't get started till right at 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. West Coast time, wherever you guys are, whatever that 
translate to translates to wherever you are that's about 11 minutes away so uh, so again about 10 minutes let me you got a commercial going on in the music let me get that out of here but uh, so anyhow what is happening on my page a lot of fun stuff if you guys are new here if you guys uh, don't know but every week I do at least one video usually there's two sometimes three it just depends on what's going on that week what uh, what I'm able to to plan and schedule, et cetera, et cetera. But every week we do have at least one painting tutorial that comes up. There's some that are kids related, more kids centric, some that are open to everyone, and then some that are a little bit more complex. Uh, so everything you see behind me with the exception of maybe one of them is our, our sessions that we've done on my page here over the past few months. There's about 60, Two, 63 videos up now that you guys can go back and watch if you guys are interested in checking those out checking out the library that's available simply go to the live tab on the main painting with Jesse page here on Facebook and you'll see all of the past videos that I have recorded those are all live sessions that I you know that I saved so if you guys are interested in following along with any of those any, anything you see back here for the most part like I said actually everything back here is on there um, we did this one last week, pretty cool little cardinal, um, cardinal wintry scene. We got Vincent Van Gogh that we did a few months back. That's still available. We got some peanuts. If you guys are peanuts fans, we got it's the great pumpkin Charlie Brown, uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. We got this one. We got a whole bunch of them that are up. So uh, a lot of kids, a lot of kids uh, specific ones also that I don't have back here. Smaller pieces that are a lot simpler to do. So if you guys are interested. Please go check those out, okay? So, what's happening, Araceli Sando says, upstairs, upstate New York, painting with my children. It is 5.55 p.m. over there, fantastic. What's happening, Tracy Ferran from Calgary. Misty Teeples from Michigan, how's it going? How are you? Welcome to all of you guys. Let's see, Julie, what's happening? Painting from, and I lost her comment. Let me see if I can get it back. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Painting from Brunswick, Canada with my kids, Georgia, 14, and Lorelei nine years old what's happening Georgia and Lorelai welcome today welcome welcome Monica Ganey Butcher from Michigan also all right got a couple of people from Michigan already Catherine Cruz I'm drawing and painting this for my hubby here in New York fantastic Catherine hopefully he loves it hopefully he loves it Jessica Caballo hi Jesse painted with my son from San Diego what's happening Jessica and son from San Diego you guys are about an hour and a half south of me so that's pretty dang cool i love going down to san diego uh old town probably my favorite spot in, in san diego my wife and my favorite spot in san diego is, uh, is old town so pretty awesome like sorry marquez says alexa six-year-old and mommy excited first time west Laco, texas awesome welcome to you guys so how are we going to do this and i'll go over the uh, instructions again right when we start but just really quick I'm going to be teaching you guys everything from scratch. Okay, everything on here is from scratch. Okay, you guys will need a pencil or something to uh, draw with. Before we get into that, I'm not going to get really get into the instructions until right at the beginning of the video. Let me show you guys, and I'm not sure where I put them. Let me show you, see if I can uh, locate where I put my my little drawings that are happening here over the next few days. Give me one second. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I moved some stuff around my studio, and now I can't find them. But I'll, they'll turn up here in a little bit. Anyhow, we saw we have some really cool events. We do have this one coming up in a couple of weeks. For those of you that might be interested in drawing uh, the Aurora Borealis lights with some really nice teddy bears, or teddy bears, polar bears, the, that's coming up. I don't remember the date on this. I believe it's two, two and a half weeks away. So if you guys are interested in that, I am providing a stencil for this. The event is already posted. Uh, all of my upcoming events, and currently there are one, two, three, I think there's four more events currently scheduled. I'll be adding a lot more here pretty soon, but as of right now, there are four events currently scheduled. Uh, this one is coming up in a couple of weeks or so. I will be providing stencils for, actually there's already stencils available for the polar bears, if you guys are interested in that. This is a lot more complex than what we're doing today uh, in a general sense. But uh, this is a really nice, fun piece that's going to be coming up. So if you guys are looking for something fun to do and wondering what's coming up next, this is one of those. So take a look on the event page under Painting with Jesse if you haven't yet, 
and you will find this there, okay? So anyway, that is one of them that's coming up here pretty soon. Like I mentioned, all the stuff that you see on the back wall is stuff that we've already done on this page. And if you're interested, you can always go find those and do those at any time you'd like. So what's happening over the next few weeks, over the next couple of weeks, actually? Well, glad you guys are asking. Not that one. Not you, Olaf. We did Olaf a few weeks ago. For those of you who might be wanting to go back and do Olaf, this is a Christmas Olaf, but you can easily change him up, take off his hat, you know, maybe change it up however you'd like. But anyway, I teach you guys how to draw this from scratch and then we paint it. However, so next week we're drawing Toothless and painting Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. So that's coming up next week. Okay, and then a couple of weeks after that, or three weeks after that, I can't remember now, we're doing Among Us. Any of you that are Among Us fans out there, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw and how to paint your own Among Us characters. Okay, everything on here is customizable, right? If you have different characters, you have your favorite character with your whatever uh, headdress you like to put on yours, you can change it up, colors, etc., etc. So this is coming up. You guys will find these under the event tab on my main painting with Jesse Page. Simply go to the top, click on events, and you'll see all the upcoming events. You'll uh, click on each one of those and you'll see all the details associated with those okay so anyway if you guys are interested there you guys have it we're gonna be having a lot of fun uh, those are just a few of all of the events that are coming up over the next couple of months I'm gonna be updating uh, as we go along as I add a new event they pop up on my on my page so you guys want to make sure you guys are have liked and are following the page so you get those notifications okay so anyhow all right guys so couple of things I want to make sure you guys uh, understand as we're going along in the comments uh, or during the session you're gonna be able to ask questions in the comments section you'll be able to say hello ask questions in the comments section we have quite a big group right now we've got about 530 35 devices currently um, so we've got a good crowd uh, that means that sometimes I'm not gonna be able to see all of your comments or all of your questions so if you happen to post a question and I don't see it please understand that you, know, you might have to post it again so that I catch it Okay, so, but anyhow, what's happening, Vanessa Rodriguez? Rodriguez from San Antonio, Texas. Welcome. Myron Gonzo and Gonzo Maravilla, Victoria, nine year old, very excited for this. Hi, Victoria, welcome. Abby, Anna, what's happening? How are you? Uh, so, let's see who else is on here. Again, folks, I do want, just want to make sure you guys understand do not click on any of those scammers' links that might pop up in the comment section, okay? Uh, again, there are scammers that like to jump on during our live session, especially earlier or, you know, at the beginning of the session, they'll start posting links in the comments. Uh, don't click on any of that stuff, okay? If you do click on that, it might take you to a website where they try to charge you for today's event. I don't know what else they're trying to steal. Personal information is my understanding, so be careful with those links. Again, links in the comments section. Try to avoid those. You might accidentally click on one simply jump back right so I just want to make sure you guys are all aware that that is happening so Stephanie Schwartz Cavender how's it going let's see who else is on today Glinda Palmer first time from Cheyenne Wyoming fantastic 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 got a whole bunch of you guys on here and we are going to have some fun Adley from Torrance what's up what's happening Adley Adley I'm assuming you mean Torrance California which is about two hours away from me approximately so pretty pretty cool but all right, folks, um, let me just make an adjustment, I think, to, I think we're good. We're good. I was going to say my lights need adjustment, but we're all right. And once we get started, I'm going to bring the camera forward. You guys are going to get a really nice close-up of everything that I'm doing, really tight shot. And I can hear a commercial in the background on the music, so let me get rid of that. Get that out of here. Okay, go back to my music. All right. What's happening? Amanda Young from Ontario, Canada. So anyhow, folks, I will be having a stencil. I'm not going to be using the stencil. I'm doing it from scratch. But I did provide a stencil for this guy, for uh, Grogu. That's Mr. Baby Yoda's name is Grogu, Mr. Grogu. <clears throat> it's actually Grogu, not Mr. Grogu. Uh, but the stencil is available. You guys can send an uh, uh, email to me at paintingwithjesse at gmail.com, and I'll get that out to you. But it is also available under the uh, discussion tab here on the event page. If you simply go over to the event page, Click on that discussion tab. In there, pin to the top, you'll see the stencil for today, okay? <clears throat> now, it's probably too late for you to print it out. You want to have it cut out and ready to go for today. Some of you are going to be tracing it. Uh, you're going to cut it, out, cut it out and trace it. Others of you are using 
carbon copy paper and other methods to trace it onto your canvas. But you want to have that ready before we actually start. I'm going to teach you, I'm going to walk you guys through those steps, so don't stress about it. But if you don't have a stencil as of right now, you're probably going to have to do it by hand if you want to join us today, or join us right now, or you're going to have to wait till the uh, recorded session is, is available afterwards, it's, it's posted right afterwards, but you'll want to get that stencil ready to go for that. If you're planning on using the stencil, those of you that want it easier, right, you want an easier way to do this, you're going to want to use that stencil. I prefer that you guys challenge yourselves. Uh, I teach a pretty easy way to draw everything, at least I think it's pretty simple, uh, but you know, if you wish to uh, if you wish to use the stencil, then do that. I like to see you guys push yourselves a little bit, but that's entirely up to you. All right, everyone, it is 3 o'clock. So welcome, welcome to today's Baby Yoda drawing and painting session. He is actually, his name is Grogu. For those of you that, that may not be aware of that, Grogu. I watched all of the Mandalorian episodes, had a lot of fun with that. My name is Jesse. You guys are on my painting with Jesse Page. I want to welcome all of you guys. I want to thank you guys for being here. We do a lot of really fun art sessions here on this page. If you guys are new here and you guys want to check out my library of sessions that are available here, I've got about 61, 62 videos of pre-recorded sessions. You'll find those on the live tab on the main Painting with Jesse page. So simply you go to my main Facebook page here, go to the top, click on the live tab, and you'll find all the past recorded sessions that we've done. Most of the stuff, stuff that you see behind me is there, and I've got about 30, about half of them are kids-centric sessions. So go check those out. You'll have a lot of fun with a bunch of those. Just look through them and see what you might like and have fun with those, okay? So what are we gonna be doing today? I'm teaching you guys how to draw everything from scratch. I know a lot of you guys are using the stencil. We'll talk about that in a little bit. What you're gonna be needing though, let me lower my volume on my music a little bit more, a little too loud. Give me one sec. What you're gonna be using, needing for definite is something to draw, trace, etc. with. I'm gonna be using a pencil today. Whatever you guys have, could be chalk, could be watercolor pencils, etc. You don't wanna be using a pen because you want to be able to make corrections. Very important that you have to use something that you can erase. Erasing is part of drawing. I just want to emphasize that a lot of times people don't like to draw, like to have to erase, but that's part of it. So first thing we're going to be doing is drawing on our canvas paper or whatever it is that you've got, that you've got, okay? So pencil with an eraser. Secondly, you're going to need something to draw on, right? Something to draw and paint on. I've got 11 by 14 inch canvas that I did this original on. I'm going to be using the same thing, an 11 by 14 inch canvas to draw and do the entire piece on. You're going to want some brushes if you're painting along, whatever you're using. You might be using acrylic paints like I am, or maybe you're using colored pencils, markers, watercolors, whatever it is. Have that ready. I have a few brushes here that I'm going to be talking about. I'll show you guys a close-up of these once we get started. But I've got a few basic, basic brushes that I'm going to be using. Okay, so I'll, show you, I'll give you guys a close-up right before we get started with that part of it. I also have a water cup, a cup with some water in it. What that does is it keeps my brushes uh, fresh, it keeps them from drying out, especially with acrylic paint. If you, in between steps, you want your brushes to go back into the water cup so that they don't dry out on, on you. Okay, so there's that. I also have a nice large paper towel roll. I won't be needing this many towels, but they're good to have handy for messes. I also use these to clean my brushes in between steps. So that's what that's for. And then of course I've got some colors here, some acrylic paint that I've already spread out on my palette. These are the basic colors that I'm going to be using. Of course, green for Go uh, Grogu's face and body. I didn't put out, put out any pink on here, but I will be using some pink for his ears. I've got some brown, a really dark brown that I'm going to lighten up with either white or yellow, probably yellow. So I've got that, I've got some black, I've got some dark blue that I'm gonna turn into a light blue for the for all this in the background. It's a kind of a gray blue. So I have some of that, and then I've got some white. So again, those are my primary main colors, white. White is just to create the gray that I'll, or the gray blue that I'll be using for that background, and I'll use that also for the highlights and things like that. But white, brown, black, green, blue, pink, uh, and then a little bit of yellow that I'll be using likely to tone up or, or lighten up the brown, okay? So those are my colors. Hope you guys are all ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and turn this, turn everything around, and we're going to get moving pretty quickly here. So let's get ourselves ready. I 
Again, 11 by 14 inch canvas is what I'm going to be using. I'll be monitoring the feed on my laptop. So if you guys ask questions, etc., I'll be able to see them. But let me go ahead and pull up the feed. Okay. One sec. Turn up the music just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'll be doing some talking here. Especially at the beginning of this. We do take our time with this. Let me go and bring my camera forward. We do take our time with this process. There's no rushing it. Okay, there's no way to rush something like this. Okay, give me a sec, folks. Just trying to get the best angle on this as I can. We're going to be drawing first, okay? As I mentioned earlier, we're going to be drawing everything first. So be ready to, to draw this out. If you've got your stencil, I'll talk about this here in just a moment. Okay, so bear with me just a bit. If you have a different size canvas than, than what I've got, absolutely. If you've got a larger canvas, of course, that will work as well. You're just going to have to, you know, change the ratios up a little bit, and I'll talk about that as we go along. Okay, I'm going to have my canvas, my canvas is point, uh, pointed towards me a little bit so that I can better draw proportionately. If I have, if I'm sitting over at an angle, it's a little bit more difficult for me to give you the proper proportions. It does throw off my, my view a little bit. So I, let me close up, get a little bit close up, a little closer here. All right. So we are going to be drawing for about 30 or so minutes, 40 minutes maybe. It just really depends. Okay. Uh, and then the painting part of it takes up the rest of the time. The shading, the, the highlights in the face, the shading, that you see on the body on the little in his little outfit all of that happens towards the later part of the session for those of you that don't care about the shading you'll just you'll simply stop before we get to all that okay all the shading on the face etc etc that's a little bit more advanced so for those of you that aren't really interested in that part of it I, again i just want you guys to understand that that's not going to happen till the end so for those of you that would like to finish a little early you will be able to if you start to fall behind, if you fall a little too too uh, far behind, don't worry about it. Uh, stick around for as long as you can, and then, what if you if you have to leave and then continue on with a recorded session? That's the way it's going to work out, right? So as soon as it, this is all done, I hit the record, I hit the save button, and this video gets saved under that live tab on the main painting with Jesse Page. So if you have to leave at any point, just know that this video will be available for you to go back to. But all right, here we go, enough talking. For those of you that have your stencil, simply put it right up there. If you haven't yet, trace whatever you've got cut out, trace it all out and get it ready to go. Okay, you'll see whatever you're missing on yours when I get to that part, that's what you're gonna be doing. For those of you that are drawing along with me, here's what I want you guys to do. About our canvas across like this, find about the middle of it, whatever, your, whatever canvas length you've got, and we're just gonna draw a nice line down the middle, really light, you're barely gonna be able to see mine, this light line is especially light, just a nice loose line right down the middle. Then you're going to do the same thing across. You're going to find your middle like this, somewhere in the middle, and simply you're going to come right across that middle. Again, nice and loose. You don't have to measure anything. Find the middle. Here's about the middle of my canvas. Right in here somewhere is the middle of my canvas, okay? So this middle point on the actual canvas over here is about right here okay so this part on the original is about right here in the middle of this canvas that's what that relates to and i just want to point out some things his face his little chin right here the bottom part of his head is right below the middle line so that's what we're going to start with right in here don't worry too much about the length of this line just yet want you want to draw your lines really lightly lighter than what i'm doing i'm making them a little extra dark than I, a little darker than I normally would so that it's easier for me to erase them. So simply draw your little chin line. It's slightly angled. That's this right in here. Okay. That's what we're starting with. Okay. It looks kind of like that. And again, don't worry too much about the length of this. We can adjust this as needed. Okay. Now, the other thing I want to point out is that his head is shaped kind of like a lemon, a little bit like a lemon. 
Okay, we're not worried about this part on his outfit just yet. Okay, we're simply gonna take this little line right here and we're gonna draw kind of a lemonish shape. Okay, a lemonish shape. Don't make it too large depending on your on the size of your canvas because you wanna leave room for his ears. Okay, I'll, I'll give you guys, let me draw it out first really quickly and I'll give you guys some dimensions to kind of consider. Notice again how I'm doing this really, really light. The reason why I'm doing it so light is so that I can come in here and erase my lines. So again, kind of a lemon shape. Let's talk about some dimensions really quick, really quickly. So on the original canvas, his, from the bottom of his head to the top of his head, he is approximately three and a half, four inches, probably more like four inches, okay? Like this, about four inches on my, on my 11 by 14 inch canvas. Over here, lengthwise, he's a little bit longer. He's more like maybe five inches. So make sure he's a little bit wider than he is, than he is tall. Okay, the, his head shape. I know that's kind of obvious, but I like to kind of point that out, point out dimensions as we go. Once you've got the general shape of his head, you notice again, I've got all these lines in here. Don't worry about those. I'm gonna be erasing some of those. Again, this is a loose way to draw things out, sketch things out. Now what I want to do is I'll look at it from a little bit of a distance. I step back a bit, see where I need to make any adjustments. I'm just gonna go through here. Everything looks pretty good. I'm just going to darken some things up a little bit. Okay, now, next step, we're going to add those ears. The ears are just really long triangles. And for reference, this ear on the right-hand side of the canvas is about a little more than halfway across his face. If the middle of his face is here across like this, that ear is a little bit longer. It's about three-quarters of the way out. Okay, so you can just kind of, whatever, however large you made your circle, simply go to about three-fourths, come out like this, and there you have how long your ear should be. And all it is is a big triangle. Again, nice and light on those pencil marks. Once you have the shape that you want, go ahead and darken it in. Okay, just a big triangle instead of a, flat base, you have a curved edge, okay? All right. And again, folks, usually within, step, within the process, as I'm going along showing you step-by-step, step, I'm not looking at the comment section. I'll let you guys know when I'm looking over at the comment section. Okay, if you guys that have been painting along with me for a while, see a question come up that you guys know the answer to, please help out uh, the newer folks. Let them know, um, let them know, answer the, answer the question if you could, okay? That'd be, that'd be, Greatly appreciated. All right, other ear. Basically the same thing, but of course it's at an angle. The ear, this one's pointed up, this one's kind of pointed down. So a nice little triangle, nice and loose. Look how I'm holding my pencil, nice and loose, nothing nothing to it. Don't get, don't get, No need to get too precise. If we need to change anything, we erase it. Most people think that they have to create a perfect line the very first time that they put their pencil down, that's not the case. We go through and we erase things, we make adjustments. Once you've got the second ear in place, take a look at your, look at your Grogu. Make sure his head is slightly at an angle. If you need to make an adjustment, this part of his head is a little higher than this part of his head, okay? So if you have to, simply erase, redraw a line a little bit, fix an edge, correct an edge, etc. okay? All right. So here's where those of you that don't have the stencil are gonna be coming in in a little bit. Or sorry, those of you that have the stencil. If you don't have the ears yet, you're gonna be adding in the triangles for the ears. If you didn't trace if you didn't trace out these lines, these edges of the head, you wanna put those in. For the ears, here we go. Nice triangle on the inside that simply follows the shape of that ear. Okay, same thing on the other ear. Let me go ahead and darken up the outer lines on this ear. They're a little bit light. Let me give you guys a little bit to catch up on that. Give you guys about a minute. Let me look at those comments. All right. Stephanie Schwartz Cavender, I think you're asking if I can go any faster. I cannot. Okay, I apologize. I do kind of maintain a relatively slower pace 
um, because I want everybody that's everyone that's drawing this free hand to be able to do this to be able to catch up if you got the stencil you've got an advantage okay and I, and I get it some of you have some of you want to paint a little draw a little faster some of you want to go a little slower but I do my best to maintain kind of a general pace for everyone so take a look at your take a look at your uh, baby Yoda's face see if you need to make any adjustments here we go okay the next step we're gonna go ahead and add some detail on the face this eyeball, we're gonna start with the eyeball on the right. Big almond, big old almond. Now keep in mind, his head is slightly angled like this. So you wanna give this eye a slightly, slight angle, okay? So about right here, you're gonna to come towards the center. This is the middle part of your canvas, this line that we drew. About right in here somewhere is a little point, okay? Big almond shape or lemon shape. Actually more like an almond. It has the little pointy corners. And it's a pretty good sized eye. Again, folks, we have to take our time with this. I want you guys to learn a little bit as we go. Okay, so there's one eye. When you come over and do the other eye. So this is our center line. Just come over a little further, right? There's a nice separation between the two eyes. And this one's also fairly large. They're about the same size. Technically speaking, this should be the same size, but as long as you can't really notice if there's a difference, don't worry about it too much. Big old lemon. Big old lemon. Okay. All right. We got the eyes in place. Take a look. Make sure they're large enough. You can always make an adjustment with, to the eye shape once we start to paint, but you do want to have your general size already in place. Big old lemon. Curved upper and right curved. Really nice curve to them. Okay, mouth. Let's go to the mouth. We've got this flat mouth, slightly curved. Again, you want to make sure you do a little bit of an angle on it. Okay, that mouth is about halfway from the bottom of the chin and the little center part of the eyes, would be, which would be about right here. So we come down to about the middle between these two little areas about you're just gonna draw your mouth nice little line like this again slight angle and then slight little curve on the edges again for those of you that don't have this on your stencil this is where you guys start to draw what's on the inside okay all right take a moment with those Awesome, Donna. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm looking at the comment section here for about a minute. There are about 600 devices currently painting along. I don't know how many people that is because some of you are painting in groups. I just want to say thank you to all of you. Glad you're here. Happy to have you guys drawing and painting along. Sarah LaRue says, love painting. Awesome, Sarah. So the center line, yes, somebody's asking, is the mouth above the center line? Yes, the center line is right here, okay? Here's where the, the, the middle meets, great question. Absolutely great question, middle's right here. The mouth is right above that center line a little bit, okay? Renly and Kit from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. What's happening? Hello to you. All right, we've got the little mouth, we've got the eyes. Now we got the little nostrils, little nostrils, little nostril holes, little tiny holes. So if you kind of, here's the middle of your eyes, you come down a little bit, they're, they're not halfway between this part of the eyes, a little point, and the mouth. They're a little bit higher than halfway. So if you were to look, look at the area between the mouth here, the top of this area of the mouth, and the little points of the eyes, halfway is about here. You want to go up just a little bit and do your little nostrils. One nostril, one nostril might sit right on that center line and then the other nostril a little over to the left of that. So here's the center line, right? The vertical center line. So the nostrils are just sitting right. One sits right above it, about, and one sits right next to it. Again, just kind of varies a bit, but look at your Yoda, it's about the middle of the face. Okay, there we go. Whoops, drop my drawing utensil, let me grab that. Here we go, next step. 
what we're going to do is we're going to actually we're going to draw the big brown part of the eyes the big lighter section of those eyes and all you're doing is this they're big old, yoda's got some big pupils okay so or irises irises or pupils i don't even remember what, which one which one's which been doing too many eyes but anyway the big large part the outside edge of that Lighter colored part of his eyes, big, they're really large and they're really close to the edge. You're going to do the same thing to the other side. The irises. Okay, now the pupil part. The pupil does not connect at the bottom. If you notice right here, there's a little space, right? But it does connect at the top. So we're going to start with the bottom part. Okay, right in there like this. Both you can do that to both eyes. Now you curve that up towards the top, and you don't see the top edge. Okay, it just comes right up, finishes up, finishes off at the top edge. Okay, just like that. While we're here, we might as well draw. A little reflection, a little reflective light. These guys right here. A little light reflecting off of his eyes. Okay, let me look. I'm going to take a look. I want to make sure that I've, I'm not missing anything. Just have, I'm going to have it facing me just a little bit. Always take a little step back. Look at your art from a distance. Look at your drawing from a, from a distance and make corrections as needed. Okay, this might be a little too pronounced for me, so let me go ahead and change it up a little bit. Okay, so work on that for just a little bit. We're not going to be do uh, doing any of the detail work on the face. The little wrinkle lines, we're not doing any of that until uh, with the paint, until after, once we have the first layer of green on there, or second layer of green, we'll see. But all those little details won't come until a later step. Okay, we're going to start drawing the body and everything else here in just a moment. Turn up the turning of the music just a little bit here. All right, everyone, here we go. Catherine Cruz, yep, it'll be a little tricky with the eyes. Don't stress too much. Do your best. Remember, folks, you can always come back and do this again. As soon as this is over, this video is going to be ready to be watched again. So if you guys want to do a second Grogu, absolutely. Second time around, usually you get a better... Uh, get a better outcome but all right here we go let's talk about the rest of Grogu's body here his face etc etc uh, not his face but his body this little pod that he's in etc so right in here this little section right here for the top part of his cloak we're gonna we're gonna start that right in here and all we're doing is a nice light line that goes like this nice curved line Here's what I want you guys to do though. Take your eraser and you're gonna erase the little crosshatch lines that we created. Just remove those, we don't need them anymore. Cleans it up a little bit, makes it a little bit easier to, uh, to see what we've got. Okay, at least on the inside of the face. Let's get those out of there. Okay, all right. So this part right in here, little line comes out, comes over, comes down. Nice little curved somewhat curved line okay so what you're going to do right here this is we're going to start we're going to create the little part of the sleeve this darker outside part of the opening of the sleeve all it is is a large c if you look at it as, as the letter c it goes like this okay something like that we're not worried about the hand right now. We're not going to put that in. Okay. What you're going to do now is you're going to bring the outside of this. You're going to bring it down a little bit. However far down you go, it's not very far. You want to leave room for all this other stuff for his little pod down here. Okay. At least the top edge of the pod. So what you're going to do is you're just going to bring this down a little. Just gauge it. Again, it's not too far. This is probably about two and a half, three inches. Actually, about three inches. 
two and a half, three inches. Okay, just like that. I can come in here now and I can erase this too. Now we're going to take this, we're going to curve it back under. The little crosshatch line, if we were to imagine it, it would be about right here. Okay, about right here. That's this right here. And you can bring this up, connect it if you want, but for now it's going to sit right there. This also helps form the bottom edge of the pod. Okay, this long line right here. So we're going to go across. And you can come out a little bit. This doesn't go quite, uh, it goes a little further maybe than halfway uh, uh, past the ear. So if this is half the, out, halfway out the ear, it's about right here if you were to draw a line straight down. So it goes to about there. And we might as well bring this over. And that also comes out, that actually comes out pretty far close to the outer edge of the other ear. So if you were to draw a line straight down, somewhere down in here. There's no perfect, there's no exact, we're not busting out a ruler or anything, we're just eyeballing everything. Okay? All right, take a moment with that. Elizabeth Argus, don't worry, video is going to be recorded so you can go back and watch it. Susan Lisa says, I'm trying my best. Yep, that's what this is about. Do your best. What's happening, Ozzy? You got it, Alice Wong. My pleasure. Glad you guys are here and enjoying today's session. I know I am. I love it. I love doing the, these and having you guys hang out and draw and paint along with me. Pretty awesome stuff. Lisa Gover, hello from Hillsborough, North Carolina. We brought along a friend today, Chrissy Morelli. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, Elisa. Welcome. Megan Moret says this, says, this is my first time. Awesome. And I'm looking over the comments right now. Sarah Schmid Dow, good evening to you. Again, folks, I see some of you guys answering questions for some of the people that are drawing along or, or joining in. Thank you so much for those of you that know the answer because you've been painting along with me for a while. Thank you so much. But okay, folks, here's what we're doing right now. So over here on this edge, this is right up in here. I'm going to take this up, this line up, it connects up by the ear somewhere. Make sure you leave enough space out here for the outer edge, this part over here, right? Just leave some space so you can do the outer edge of the pod. But this is the inside, the dark part, okay? Same thing on this side, bring this up, curve it in a little bit, it's a dome shape. So it curves in, okay? Over the top of Baby Yoda, Mr. Grogu, little Grogu, we're gonna go like this. See what I'm doing with my hand? I put my hand right here, right on the, my canvas and I'm able to use it kind of like a um, compass, protractor. Not a compass, a protract protractor. I just kind of do this, helps me make a nice curve. Let me look at it for a moment. I might have to make it a little bit more pronounced. Uh, let's see, yeah, a little bit maybe. Remember, nice light lines so that you can erase. Okay, there we go. Okay, back to the inside, back to the inside of little Grogu's body, right here up in this little corner somewhere. Over here, we have a line that goes out, comes down towards the edge of the opening of our little pod. So goes over, curves a little bit, comes down right here at the very end. Draw like a little line that goes out and then down. Okay. We're getting there. We're not too far from finishing. We just need the hand, the two hands and a little bit of detail work on the inside and we're done. Okay, over here, you're gonna come in a little bit. You're gonna give me a big arch. Kinda of goes like this. Okay, a little close up of that. Little kind of arch with a little tiny section that comes in a little bit and then goes back up and over. Not too important, but something kinda of like that. Okay, now from here, this line right here, 
We're going to bring this, curve it in, down close. So bring that down, curve it over. Connects over here somewhere. You're going to curve that up so these two lines connect. Now, guys, give me, I'm going to give you guys a moment for that, but I want to remind everybody, please, uh, for those of you that are new, especially those of you that have been with me for a while, I always ask that you guys send me pictures of your masterpieces. So when you guys are all done today or whenever you finish, please send me, take a picture of your painting, send a copy to me here on Painting with Jesse. You'll go over to Messenger and, and send me a picture. Again, Messenger here on Painting with Jesse on Facebook. Okay, I want to see you guys' masterpieces when you're all done. Okay, as you guys work on this, just want to remind you all really quickly, in case you guys jumped on here a little bit late, next week I'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw and paint Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. There is a stencil for this available for those of you that want one. Just go over to the event tab on my main painting with Jesse Page, click on that, and you're going to see this, all the details. Click on this, and you'll see all the details in there, including there's a, there's a stencil in there also. Then, about three weeks, two and a half weeks after that, for those of you that are Among Us fans, I'm going to be teaching you guys this from scratch. Same situation. Go to the event tab. All the details are there. I did make a stencil available, so go check that out. And then we got this really cool event coming up in two weeks, I believe. Call it Curious. Little Polar Bear and Aurora Borealis painting. This is quite a bit more complex than what we're doing today. This is for more of an older group, but kids are also welcome. But, you know, again, this is a bit more complex. This is about two weeks out, I think. So go check those out. All right. All right, let's continue on here. Next step. Right over here on this hand, I'm going to go ahead and erase this little legend here. Let's get that out of there. We don't need it anymore. We're gonna do. We're gonna do little, little. Um, we're gonna add some fingers in here. We're gonna go one, two. And his fingers are kind of, kind of pudgy. Okay, so we got one finger, two fingers. Maybe there's a little separation between those two fingers, and that's gonna come up also. And now that kind of goes up. So one finger, two fingers, separate those two a little bit, and then that comes up. Right here, you're gonna draw a line that goes back. And then right here, you can also draw a little line that goes back like that. Let's give little Grogu some fingernails. Okay, each one of these is like you're doing a U. There's a U right here, and then you connect it at the top. U right here, and then you connect at the top. Again, folks, for any of you, any of you that this might be a little too fast for, don't stress about it. Stay, um, you know, try to keep up as much as you can. The video will be available immediately after. You can always go back and watch the recorded session, okay? Or maybe you want to do it again. Maybe you want to come back and do it a second time. Now, let's see. Right in here, this little part that we drew. We're going to just grab this, bring it over, and just kind of do that. Nothing fancy. It's like his little, the little sleeve rolls up and over his hand. Okay, work on that for just a moment. Plug in my laptop running out of juice over here. We don't want to don't want to do that. I also have to plug in my phone, so bear with me one second. Don't want to run out of juice part way through our session. That would be no good. No fun. Alright, here we go. Next step. So what we're going to do now, we're, we're actually going to draw the hand, the little wrist, the hand, and everything. This is probably, for some of you, this is going to be the trickiest part.
part of the whole process. But don't stress out about it. Just have some fun with it. Right here, we're going to come up and go in a little bit on the, this big C that we did. We're going to come in a little bit, just a little bit. Then we're going to take this, go back, part of his little, the little uh, wrist part. That's this, okay? Comes in down at an angle, and then it's going to curve over and up like this. Almost like we're doing another C right here. And then it just straightens out a little bit like that. Okay. Quite possibly the trickiest part of this whole thing. But again, don't want you guys stressing. Have a good time with this. Have fun. This comes out a bit. Comes out a bit right here too. Now we're going to draw a nice little curved line that goes like this. We're drawing the palms now. This is the palm part of, it, of Grogu's hand. Little palms, little, little circles, or little curved lines that go like that. This one actually continues over like this. Let me turn it towards me a little bit so I, so I don't draw it out of proportion. Okay, now before we do uh, any other detail in here, I just want to draw a light line that goes out like this little bit and then it goes back keep your keep your drawing lines light so you can make corrections easily okay so a little kind of a little pointy line pointy uh, or backwards V and you're gonna draw another V in the other direction okay so if you imagine this is a V facing this way that's a V going that way and then you come on back over the top. We'll add some detail, give the fingers some detail in a little bit. Or this is a big M, also a big M. Okay, the letter M, if you guys can see that. Now right here, and I left a little space, I got my thumb. Just adding in a nice little curved line. And then that's going to come back and connect down in here to the palm. And there we got Grogu's hand, okay, without all the little detail. Take a moment on that. What's up, Penny Colt? How's it going? I'm looking over at the, what's up? What's up, Aaron? I'm looking over the comment section now, folks. Ask your questions. Say hello. We're almost done with the drawing part of it. What's happening, Aaron? Starberry, what's happening? What's up, Mac? How are you? Liliana Roberto Garcia says hi from Liliana Roberto Cruz. What's happening, guys? Let's try that on. Woo! Stephanie Schwartz Cavender, how's it going? Hi, Emily. How are you, Emily? Hi, Julie. Mandalorian, ooh, yes, Mandalorian. We're going to be doing the Mandalorian too. What's happening from St. Louis? Clara with her son, Ben. How are you, Ben? Ellen, Gregory, what's happening? You got it, Indy Sharma, my pleasure. We are going to be painting here pretty soon. Happy birthday, William, 12-year-old 12, 12 William, how's it going? Awesome, from Hamilton, Ontario, Shannon Blair, how are you? All right, folks, here we go. Yarelis, of course, how's it going, Yarelis? Hope you're having fun. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, somebody else celebrating a birthday. Let's see. Karen Schuff says we're celebrating a six-year sixth birthday here with my two sons. Also doing this together. Fantastic. All right, let's continue on. Let's continue on. So what I want you guys to do is right here, right up in here in this little corner, we're going to draw a line that goes like this. Kind of curves down, back under, goes over, and drops down. 
don't worry too much this doesn't have to be super specific just give me a nice little curved line that drops down goes from corner to corner approximately this little corner down here connects to that corner that's just the little sleeve part right where his little hand comes under okay now this little line right in here not that important we're just going to do this all this connects so that little line from here just connects over like that again nothing too specific nothing too perfect it's not super important on that the last thing i want to do is i want to i want to add the little fingers the little so the little digits on his fingers the little curvy parts so right here here's our palm goes up we're gonna go like this nice little curve maybe that's a little too big we'll see later but then we do another one make his fingers a little bit less pointy a little bit fatter a little pudgier okay same thing right up here curve a little curved line a little curved line goes back under and then connects right there over the top again curve it and then back all right let me take a little step back make sure that I haven't missed anything actually I have of course the outer edge of our little pod so right here at the top okay this is the inside this right here is this right here the dark part so right above it I'm just gonna make another edge and this edge can be really skinny or it can be wide depends on how much space you've got on your canvas again I'm using my hand I'm placing it right here in the middle of my canvas and using my hand like a like a protractor comes over comes down it follows this edge over here on both on both sides it follows the edge of the shape of the inside right comes down like this now right here we're gonna stick a little line goes out a little bit like that here and here comes down and continues the circle God, sorry com continues as a curve comes back in a little bit and then these connect watch my watch how I'm holding my pencil nothing fancy I'm doing multiple lines in here because I'm gonna be erasing some of these right I correct I correct I correct as I'm going from there right here find a little area close to the edge and bring that down curve it in towards the bottom of your canvas if you have enough shape enough room then you would complete it right if you're draw if your canvas is large enough or you're drawing this small enough you'd be able to complete this at the bottom as a big kind of a circuit circle or, or kind of ovalish shape okay let me darken this up a little I'll show you guys what this looks like face on okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and erase my little center line that I created here I'm gonna get that out of there here too because we don't need those anymore and I got three little squares they're like buttons could be rectangles too one two and three and if you guys noticed <clears throat> this is so this middle button would be about the middle of your of your little pod all right there's that we're not drawing any of the other details like I said that's all gonna come in with paint so take a moment to catch up with all of that I'm gonna get my paints ready we're gonna start painting with we're gonna start painting the face okay so get your green color ready I'll show you guys a close-up of my brushes here in just a bit also just want to remind everyone that's on here for those of you that are able to and are would like to help support the page I do have a virtual virtual tip jar the description of all this is in the is in the, all this information is in the description of the um, of the video of the session today but I do have a Venmo, I've got a PayPal, and I have a Zelle, okay? For those of you that are able to, you're able to donate to the page, help support, and keep me doing these little sessions, okay? But I've got a Venmo, I've got a PayPal, both under Painting with Jesse. This is all one word under PayPal, okay? Venmo at Painting with Jesse, Jesse Mendeville's a name. On both of these, you'll see my picture. You'll see my face holding a canvas or um, 
uh, br uh, brush something. I think I, both of them have canvases in the picture, but you'll see me in the picture. And then I do have a Zelle 9512172237. Okay. Again, this information's in the description of this video. So for those of you that would like to help support the page, that's there for you. Okay. Let's get those brushes over. I got my paints right here. For those of you that are painting, I am using acrylic paint. This is the green. It's kind of a light green that I'm using for uh, Grogu's face. For those of you that don't have a light green, if you've got a dark green, you're going to lighten yours up by using a little bit of white. Okay, but the other colors that I'll be using, I'm going to be using some of this dark blue. I'm going to lighten, it, lighten that up to paint the background on the pod. Okay, I'll be using brown. I'll lighten that up with some yellow. I don't have the yellow on here, but I'll put some yellow on the, on the plate later to lighten that up for his outfit and then also for the inside or the outside of the, the lighter part of the eyes. Of course, I've got black for the darker areas. Okay, those are the main colors. I don't have pink on here, but I'll add pink to the ears. I'll grab that here in a little bit. Let's talk about the brushes that I'll be using. Once again, if you're new to acrylic painting, you want to have paper towels. They come in very handy. Okay, you want to have a water cup. Your brushes in between all the steps, your brushes sit inside that water cup. That's to prevent them from drying out. So I've got this big brush here. I don't think I'll be getting much use for this one, uh, use of this brush simply because uh, almost everything on here is on the smaller. Uh, the areas are smaller to color in. This, I usually use this for backgrounds or really large areas, but we'll see. Anyway, this is a flat three quarters inch brush. All my brushes are synthetic bristle brushes for those of you that maybe are going to pick these up later. Okay, uh, nothing fancy. I've got a flat, this is about a quarter of an inch thick brush. This is a number four flat, okay, number four flat. If you've got a, anything close to this, you're fine. Don't stress out too much about the sizes that I'm showing. This, that's just for reference. Okay, I've got two of those. Okay, I've got two of those brushes. And I've got a couple of round brushes. These are zeros, round, fine line brushes. Okay, those are basically the, the brushes that I'll be using. So, again... Pretty basic, nothing too fancy, but here we go. I got two plates here. I got three plates actually, but the second plate I use to mix colors with. I'm gonna take some of my green, a bunch of my green, I bring it over, put it right there on my plate. I wanna grab quite a bit of this. I wanna cover the entire face. I wanna make sure I have enough to cover, cover the entire face. I'm gonna take a little bit of white. I simply use my same brush and I grab up a gob of the white, just a bit, don't need a lot. It's gonna lighten up this green a little a little bit you don't have to do that just look at your green if you like it like it the way it is and that's what you're going to be using i'm using the big brush to mix it in once i've got the two colors mixed in pretty well i'm going to switch brushes now i'm going to take my my number four flat little quarter inch brush grab up some of that paint I'm going to do my edges all on the inside of Grogu. Okay, I do my edges first. Makes it easier to keep from going past my lines once I start doing all of the inside of the face. Okay, now I know that some of you with your paint, you might block out, you might cover. I'm covering the nose here, but I can still see it. My pencil lines, I can still see them a little bit. That's all, all you want. Okay, same thing with the mouth. I can still see the mouth. I'm painting right over it. Anyway, let's continue on with the outline. Nice and easy, folks. Hopefully you guys are having a good time. I'm going to turn up my music a little bit. I'm going right over my pencil marks as much as I can. I want to cover those up. Let's not forget the ears. We're going to cover those ears up.
Okay. There we go. I've got everything outlined. Then I go right in. Start painting everything on the inside. So I'm using acrylic paint for those of you that are newer to, newer to acrylic paint. Acrylic paint requires layering most of the time, meaning you have to do more than one layer. So work quickly through this. It's going to look a little uneven. It's going to look blotchy in some areas, but we're not worried about that because there isn't a whole lot we can do about that. We don't want to spend too much on this first layer. We're going to come back and do a second, maybe third layer. It's going to require at least two layers to get everything nice and even in here. So get your, get your base coat on and move on, okay? Don't forget our ears. Okay, once we do the face, we want to do the hands. So same thing, we outline everything. Careful with your fingernails, make sure you can still see them through your paint or paint around them. They are going to be green, but they're going to be a little bit of a lighter green. Or if you paint them all the same color, the outline, outlining them in black like on the original is going to make a difference. I almost spilled my paint water on me. Stuff happens. Okay, over here, the other hand. So outline first. Notice how I'm holding my brush towards the back, nothing fancy, nothing super specific. It's loose. You want to relax through the process. Enjoy it. You guys are stressing out, take a little breath. Okay. Again, this is just the first layer. It's gonna look a little blotchy for some of you. There we go. I'm gonna give you guys about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes to get this step done and then we're moving on to the next step, which is adding the pink to the ears. Okay, I'm going to pour out a little pink on my plate. Harder than it needed to be. All right. Good, Donna. That's right. No stress, just fun. Sounds good, Eric. Karen Brower. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Green. Somebody says, yay. Uh, Donna says, yay, green. Looking over the comment section, folks. What's up, Anne Marie Garco Hill? How's it going? I know that a lot of these that are posting on here. Dan Pompili says, What do I do with the stencil? Okay, so if you weren't here at the beginning where I talked about the stencil, um, it's going to be a little tricky for you. You probably want to wait. Uh, for the recorded session, okay? As soon as I'm done here, as soon as we're done today, this video will be available for you to go back and re-watch it. But, um, but the stencil, you'd want to put it on there and trace it out. Otherwise, you're gonna do it by hand, like, like uh, some of us did, okay? Okay, here we go. Here we go with the pink. I'm taking the same little brush that I was using. Okay, I'm just gonna clean it up. Same cup, water cup, I just swirl my, my brush around in there a bit. I want to get as much of that green off of there as I can. Comes out looking kind of like this. Okay. Now I'm going to take a paper towel and I just 
wipe off the excess, the, little, the extra paint. Now I'm gonna take the same little brush, simply dip it right into my pink. I'm gonna outline the inside of my ears first. Don't forget, I want you guys to send me pictures of your masterpieces if you can. If you guys are painting in a group, take a picture of your group. If you guys can hold your painting and take a picture and then send that over, that would be awesome. I'd love to see you guys. Then what I do is I, I get all the pictures together and then I post them as a large post on my Facebook. Probably sometime tomorrow after I get a bunch of your pictures saved. I like to share them. Everyone likes to see how everyone else does. It's pretty cool. So don't forget, please send those over to me. If you are under 18 and painting by yourself, please make sure you get permission from your parents. Anybody that's under 18, okay? So get permissions from, permission from your parents before sending anything over. Okay, so there's the ear. There's the ears, so take a moment on that. You guys got about a minute. I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow and I'm going to add it, I'm gonna mix it with my brown. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. I'm gonna bring it over to my plate. If you guys, if you guys just wanna do this in brown, that's okay. I'm gonna make the color for, the, um, for his outfit, which is uh, kind of really light kind of tan brown or yellow brown. So just grab some yellow, brought it over to my plate. I'm gonna grab the big brush that I used at the beginning, the big three quarter inch flat brush, clean it up a little because it's got a bunch of green in it. So just swirling around my cup. I take it out, grab my paper towel, I squeeze out the extra paint. If it has a little bit of green left over, that's okay. I'm just gonna grab my brown, a lot of my brown. I'm gonna bring that over to my mix plate, my extra plate. I'm gonna put it over here next to my yellow. Maybe I'm gonna transfer over a little bit over here because I don't need a lot. Then I mix the yellow and the brown together. Again, I want a nice light brown color. There we go. Good, so I'm gonna be using this color that's in here. Okay, I like that color. If you want to use a little bit, little bit of white on yours, you can. I like this color. So this brush goes back into my cup. I'm gonna go back to my number four flat brush, my little quarter inch flat brush. Again, so again when I say quarter inch, I'm describing the width. Number four is the technical number of this what's called a flat brush clean it up a little as i'm doing these other steps the green that i did on the face and on the ears is going to start to dry it's already drying it's almost completely dry which will allow me to go back and add another layer of green over the top but for now i'm just going to grab some of my brown here and then same thing i outline everything So I'm using the skinny edge of my brush for my outlining. In other words, I'm not using the broad side like this. I could if I want, but it gives me more control if I use the skinny side. Come over, gotta be careful with the hand that I don't get this brown over the, the hand itself or on the hand. Okay. I got this section done, I just go ahead and paint in on this. I know we've got this little line that we created over the top where the sleeve folds over, but as long as I can see it, we're okay. I can come back and we'll outline that in black later. If you fall behind, folks, don't forget, or you are falling behind, don't stress. Stick around for as long as you can, keep up for as long as you can, and then come on back and draw it or complete it with the recorded version of this. No stress, have fun with it. I know I'm going a little bit on the faster side now that we're painting. 
we've got a lot of little steps involved and I don't want to keep you guys too too long you guys notice what I'm doing with my brush now I'm taking my brush and I'm just and I'm painting across long ways like this in the direction of the of my pencil lines the, the original long pencil lines just smoothing out my paint a little bit I'll do the same thing in here long smooths everything out a bit okay now in here I'm gonna do it a little bit different so a little differently in here I'm gonna outline this come down come over and under now here I can for my first brush strokes I can do them all in one direction or whatever direction I want like this all different directions if it helps get me get the paint on there more quickly that's what I do but once I've got it all covered now I'm gonna do this curve brush strokes following the shape of the sleeve or the little wrinkles in that sleeve okay kind of curved following these along okay just like that let's fill this in here as well this is going to be a little bit darker later on we're going to add some darker paint in here for the shadows for those of you that want to do shading you just want to add that comes a little bit later all right let me see what's happening with my music okay good oh and i did forget with my with my pencil line, I forgot to add one little line that goes in here. That's okay, we can just fix that. The rest of his little body where it connects. So his little sleeve, we had his sleeve in there. We just come in and add a little line that comes out, connects to the edge or touches that edge. Okay, and then we can't forget this little section in here. This is gonna be darker later, but All right. So it'll take about two minutes and then we move on. All right. What's happening, Jason? Jason Puttis? Catherine Cruz says, my baby Yoda's face looks like a Cabbage Patch doll. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> Alisa Fink, how are you? Liliana, no problem. You already know how this works. The recorded video will be available immediately after. The green is like avocado. That's right, Sarah. Lots of Grogu fans on here today. Awesome. So again, I'm looking over at the comment section. Well, sorry, I didn't mention it, but I'm looking over at the comment section. Nanad Nick Stoyanovich. What's happening, Nanad? How are you? Hi, Marie. What's happening, Marie? Hi, hello, what's happening? So I use acrylic paint, okay? I'm using acrylic paint. Tracy Lincoln, my pleasure. Tracy Kreger, sorry. Tracy Kreger, my pleasure. Balin Lincoln, I'm doing great, how are you? Faith, seven years old from Michigan, said she is having so much fun. Fantastic, Faith. Happy to have you on here today. Hi, Michelle Mudry. Kim Unsworth says, Kim Unsworth, Unsworth Perkins says, my daughter and I are having fun. We're using markers, but it's working. Thank you. Absolutely. Use whatever you'd like to use. What's happening, Dan Pompili? Judah, happy birthday. Happy, is it first birthday or 11th birthday? Looks like, it looks like it says one birthday, but I'm not sure. But happy birthday, Judah, however old you are. Michelle Mudry, hello, hello. Mandalorian, Ashley Olson, yep. All right, folks, here we go, next step. Let me 
Let me lower my music a little. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to take uh, my, again, all this is drying as we're working right now. All the rest of this is drying. So what I want to do is I'm going to take the color for, I'm going to mix the color for the background for the pod, the outside of the pod, which is basically a little bit of blue, a little bit of a touch of black. I'll show you here in a second. A very little, little amount of black and lots of white. So I'm going to be mixing with my big brush here. So again, I clean it up. Don't forget, folks, in between steps, you want to put your brush back into your cup <clears throat> so that your brushes don't dry out on you. Again, this is for those of you that are working with acrylic paint. That's a very important step. Otherwise, you're going to be ruining your brushes. So I swirled my brush around in the water cup, clean it up now with my paper towel. So what I want to do is I'm going to start with white. I'm going to grab a whole bunch of white. Okay, and I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to find a spot on my plate here. Just bring that over. I'm going to take a little tiny bit of blue. Not a lot. So I'm scooping some, same brush, I scoop some blue up. Okay, if you've got a light blue already, no worries, and you're just going to make, maybe add a little bit of black to it. Okay, first I want to, I want to do this. Bring some blue over. Mix that up a little. Maybe that's a little too dark, but no big deal. I can always add some more white to it, which I'll do now. You wanna, when you're, whenever you're mixing color, do a little bit at a time. Now I'm going to take some black. Very little bit of black. I barely touched the black with my brush. You can see it there on the little corner. A little tiny bit of it. A little bit of black will change your colors pretty quickly. So you want to add a little bit at a time. Okay, a little bit at a time. And if it ends up being that it's light blue only or just a gray color, that's fine too. Again, we're mixing the color for the pod. And I think it's about, I'm about where I want it. Whoops, about to get a little drip there on the side. Okay, now I'm going to stick with my big brush just around the big parts of all of this. I'll switch over to a smaller brush when I go around the fingers and the ear and stuff. Maybe, we'll see. But being really, really careful. I want to stay on the inside right of my lines. Do cover up your pencil lines though. Here around the fingers, I'm, I'm not going to use the big brush to get in real close. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush in a bit. The smaller the area, the smaller the brush. Okay, right here we come up. Okay, all the way around. So again, I mentioned the larger the area, the larger the brush. Because these are relatively large areas, I'm able to cover ground much more quickly with this bigger brush. Okay. Can't forget the bottom. Bottom part of the pod. I'm leaving a little space just so you guys can see. But right here, we're going to have a nice dark line that goes across the outline, like on the original. You guys see the original, right? This section in here is going to have a nice light outline. And then once again, once I got my paint on there, I want to paint with long brush strokes, especially down here. Smooth the paint out. Nice and easy, relax, have fun with this. Everyone's Baby Yoda is going to look a little different. I went over the over the paint, over my edge up here by accident because I'm using such a big brush. Okay, that's one of the potential problems you could come across when you're using too large of a brush. But pretty easy to clean up. Let's take a little paper. I take a paper towel. I dip it in my water cup. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of water. I don't want this dripping, so I just 
squeeze it so it spreads across my towel a bit and I'm just gonna come across the top like this. And clean that up. Especially when the paint is still wet, it's easy to clean up. There we go. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take one of my smaller brushes Back to my little flat number four. I'm gonna take a little bit of this light color and I'm gonna work my way around the fingers. Okay, around my edges, just gonna clean things up a little. Time to time, take a little step back, look at your piece from a distance. You want to make sure that you're not missing anything. Also, when you take a step back, look from a distance, you're able to correct things, make little corrections. And it's easier to see mistakes, okay? So work on that for about another minute and then we're moving on. <clears throat> Jennifer Venderberg says, OMG, I love this. Me too, Jennifer. Jody Lynn, if you made the, all of the eyes black, that's okay. If you're using acrylic paint, just like what I did up there, you can clean it up a little bit, okay? Kirk Lowe, I'm sorry, if it's a little too fast. I will try to slow it down just a bit. Can't go too much uh, slower, but I will try. That's okay, Jody Lynn. Charlie, six years old from Ontario, Canada, having so much fun. Thank you, says Haley Hansen. Hi, Charlie. Thank you for being here. I hope you're, I'm glad that you're having a good time. Fort, uh, let's see, Fortnite. I always get a Fortnite request, and Fortnite is coming. We're going to be doing some Fortnite paintings here pretty soon. What's up? Stephanie Hurst says it's my niece El, Ellie's birthday, or Elle's birthday, Ellie I think it is, and my Ellie's birthday and my nephew Hudson on Thursday. Happy birthday to Ellie and Hudson. What's happening Arturo? There you go John, if you don't have the right colors you mix them up and you'll get your, you can, you can make what you don't have. A taco cat. Ooh, we'll do a taco cat. Hi, Eureka. Biden, or, or sorry, Ben and Charlotte. How are you guys? Sandra, your mama says you guys are loving this. Fantastic. Hi, Andrew from New York. Six years old from New York. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to paint the dark darker uh, part on the inside okay so once we're done with that we're gonna be able to concentrate on the inside of Yoda's face and everything else but this dark color that's on the inside what I did is I mixed some black and some brown for that don't make it super oh you can you can make it as dark as you'd like I'm gonna be using my big brush here to mix whoops and there goes my canvas I'll be using that big brush to mix so let's clean it up a little want to remove all that light blue or light gray that's in there. Let's get that out of there. So clean it up, swirl it around. Now I'm going to take a paper towel. And we're going to clean, we're going to brush off or squeeze out the excess from our brush. There we go. We 
gonna move my water cup out of the way before I knock it, knock that over. So I'm gonna take some black. I'll probably need more than this. Okay, I'm gonna bring this over to my plate and grab some brown also. Doesn't have to be too dark. You can take a little bit of white if you need to lighten it up a little or yellow, up to you. Yeah, there we go. Kind of like that color there. It's almost like a gray black brown mixture. Okay. All I'm going to do with this, and again, I'm going to be careful. I'm using a large brush, but I'll be careful as much as I can. I outline first. Stick to a small brush. That's what I recommend for the outlining part of it. Or sorry, for when you're doing the inside of this. It's just a little safer. See, just like that, I covered up Yoda's head, or Grogu's head with... Uh, some of this new color. Okay, so let's switch brushes. Okay, back to my little one. So I'm taking my brush, I dip it in my water a little bit because this paint's a little on the a little on the drier side. Also can thin it out a little by adding water with to it. So I just dip my brush into the water cup bring it over and mix that water in here. Makes it easier to work with this paint. Let's continue with our, out, our outlining. I'm turn this towards me a bit. See what I do with my finger here? What I'll do is when I get close and I need to get precise, two things, I hold my brush closer to the tip and then I use my finger to help support my hand a bit, especially around things like the fingers. Okay, once I've got everything outlined, and I'm almost there through and then paint the rest of all that in. So just taking more water, mixing it, in, mixing it in with my paint. We don't always do this, but anytime we're doing precise stuff, precision work, I like to do this. But I also use the water to thin out my paint, which then I, it makes it easier to spread it across. It also makes it a little bit more transparent. For this background, for the inside of the dome, doesn't really matter which direction my brush strokes go in. I can kind of go in different, I go back and forth and up and down. I'm not too worried about this looking really smooth. Okay.
we're not going to be doing a second layer to this inside area. At least not together. If you guys feel like yours needs a second one, you can always add that after we're done. But if you can see like on the original, it's also a bit transparent. So uh, a little bit blotchy looking. I'm not worried about that on this step or on this painting. Because what I want to stand out is everything that's... I want the dome, the little pod to stand out. And then I want Baby Yoda himself to stand out. So the background, what's inside of the pod, this dark color that we're adding, isn't super dark, it's not super even, and I'm okay with that. Just a choice that I'm making. You can, if you decide you want yours a lot darker, a lot more even, you can always do that on your own, okay? But all right, we're gonna that for about a minute or two. Penny Pen says, what colors did you just mix? So for that background, I just mixed some black. If you're talking about the background here, the inside of the pod, I took some black, I took some brown, um, and a touch of white. Black, brown, a touch of white, lightened it up a little bit, and then I also added some water to the mixture. So black, brown, a little bit of white, and some water. Okay, again, I don't want that background to stand out too much. I can see, you know, this one's a little darker than this. That's okay. When I'm all done, I'll look at it, and if it feels like I need to add another layer on there, I'll probably do so, but on my own, on my own time, when we're all done, we'll see. We'll see how much time's left towards the end here. But all right. Take a moment on that. We're going to continue on here just a little bit. So Jenna says, anybody have ideas for the background? Somebody mentioned, I think, um, black a black maybe galaxy background that'd be pretty cool black and then all these little stars that would be kind of a nice one um maybe even a really dark blue would look pretty cool so give her some ideas folks let's see somebody asked is among us going to be harder than this no among us is actually quite a bit easier among us is less detailed Here's the Among Us piece for those of you that uh, haven't seen this. We're doing this, I think it's two and a half weeks away, three weeks away. Can't remember now, but this is what we're doing. This is quite a bit easier to do than this. This is more complex. It's open to, you know, quite the shading and stuff involved. This is more of an all ages event. So is this, but this is suited for um, people maybe looking to not do anything so complex so much easier to do okay but okay what's next well we're going to do a second layer of green on yoda's face okay so let's go with that remember we mixed a little bit of white at least i did for mine don't know if you guys need to do that to your green doesn't really matter too much on this second layer of my green, everything's gonna look a lot more even toned than what this looks like. Right, again, right now it's blotchy, colors are uneven. That second layer of green is gonna make everything look a lot more even. So I'm taking my brush, my big brush, because that's what I'm gonna be using to mix. I still have a little bit of green of the original green that I made, but I wanna mix a little bit more. So let me clean this up a bit. Because it's got that black in there, I want to swirl it around my cup quite a bit. Okay. Using my paper towels, squeeze out that extra paint. I take more of this green, bring it over to my plate. Again, I mixed a little bit of white with this earlier, so I'm going to do that again. that white and bring it over back to my flat number four if your paint is really thick take your brush dip it in your water cup bring some of that water over 
even if your paint's a little dirty, dirty like mine is, the paint is so diluted in that water cup that it's not going to make a whole lot of difference. Not against the green anyway. Okay, and here we go. Now you're going to notice everything starts to get cleaner, more even. Again, keep in mind you still want to be able to see your mouth and your nostrils, so if you have to, don't paint over that. Just come right up to it and work around it. You want to be able to see at least a little bit. Try to outline everything first. go right in. Now I'm following the curvature of Yoda's face. Long curved brush strokes. I'm already starting to shape that the face or the head by turning my brush with what the shape is right so as I get around my edges I curve it over like this. I can paint with the flat part, with the skinny part, or the broad side. Just kind of keep in mind where your mouth is going to be, where your nose is. Okay, I'm going to switch over. Actually, no, same brush, same size brush. Just going to come in here and do the same thing with the ears. Let's do the hands. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my one of my little liner brushes. I'm gonna lighten up my green a little, a little bit more. I'm gonna take some white. Okay, I'm gonna bring that over to my plate. Find a little spot for it. And I'm just gonna make a really light green. I'm gonna use this for the nails, for his fingernails. Okay, just lightening it up. Doesn't have to be super light, and you don't even have to really do this. You can use the same original green if you want. But right in here, I'm just gonna take this color and. It's real subtle. Just gonna paint, apply this over the nails. Then I'm also gonna take take the same little brush, grab the original, the green that I'm working that I've been working with for the rest of the face and hands. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of it, and clean up my fingers a bit. Any little areas on the inside, of the, on the edges of your, all your green areas, clean them up. Make sure you don't have any white of the canvas coming through anymore. Same thing with the hands. Anything that's green, just go through and clean up any of those little areas you might have some of that green coming through. Or sorry, white from your canvas coming through. All right. 
Work on that for a couple minutes. Hi, Karina. Sure will. <clears throat> the video will be available under the live tab on the main Painting with Jesse page. Here on the main Painting with Jesse fa page on Facebook, simply go to the live tab up at the top. Click on that and you'll see the video uh, uh, right there. You'll be able to play it back. Okay? It'll be up there for at least a couple of weeks. Okay? So, Baylin Lincoln, my virtual tip jar. Thank you for asking. I do have a virtual tip jar. In case you guys might have missed this, and I do appreciate any help with supporting the page, the channel. Uh, this information is listed in the description of the video, but I have a Venmo, I've got <clears throat> a PayPal, and I have a Zelle. Okay, if you guys would like to send a donation, send a tip, my Venmo is Jesse Mendeville at Painting with Jesse. Sometimes I'll ask you for my email. Actually, the emails usually they'll ask you on PayPal, but PayPal is paypal.me forward slash Painting with Jesse. This is all one word, Painting with Jesse. And there they often ask you to verify with my email, paintingwithjesse at gmail.com. Jesse with one with no, no I at the end, right? J-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. And then I do have a Zelle, 951-217-2237. All right. So again, for those of you who would like to help out, it is greatly appreciated. It goes a long way to helping support the page and all these videos. Okay. So here we go. Let's see. Looking over at the comment section. Hi Enrique, what's happening? Your mama, your mama Dolores says, my son Enrique loves baby Yoda, he's nine and learning to paint cause of you. Please say hi to him, he'd really enjoy that. Hi Enrique, thank you for being here, awesome. <laughs> Somebody says they're writing, or maybe that was an idea. This is the way. That would be so cool. This is the way somewhere on there. This is the way. That would be fantastic. But okay, guys, so here's what we're going to do next. We're actually going to start coloring in the inside. We're going to start with the eyes now, okay? So I'm going to take black, just black, and I'm going to do the pupil. So I'm going to use one of my liner brushes, a little tiny skinny brush, right? I don't need a whole lot of black, so I grab some br uh, black, bring it over to my plate, dip my brush in water. So I can bring that over, mix it in with my paint. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with working with these little tiny round brushes, this is a round number zero. It's also referred to as a liner brush, or can be referred to as a liner brush. When you wanna make your point really skinny, you push your brush up against the plate, or your palette, whatever you're using, scooping up paint at the same time, but you spin your brush. This makes the point really skinny. Now you can come in here and do some detail work. First thing I'm going to do is outline the inside part of Grogu's eyes. Okay, like that. I'll also outline the inside where the reflection is going to be. Okay. and go and do both eyes at the same time. Okay. There we go. Let's outline the top two. Okay, like that. Now I'm going to take one of my bigger brushes. Well, a bigger brush, my little number four flat. One's getting a lot of use today. So this guy here, just gonna dip it right into my black. And then I can go ahead and paint the inside. Oh, we've been doing this for an hour and a half. 
We're going to pick things up a little bit now that we've got all the big parts done. Okay, we're going to start getting into the detail, but we're going to pick things up a little bit. Okay, once you have the inside of his eyes done like this, you're going to use that same color, that same uh, black color that we were just using. Don't worry, we're not going to speed it up too much, but we do, gotta, we do have to pick it up a little bit. So the black that I just had for the, for the eyes, I'm going to take a little bit of brown and mix it in to create almost like a, it's the color that's on the outside of, of the eyes there. It's almost like a really dark caramel color. Okay, so once I've got the color mixed in, and it doesn't have, yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine, right? It can vary a bit, so don't stress too much, as long as it's a, kind of a, a really dark brown is what it is. I'm going to take my little liner brush, then I go through, again I'm using my finger, my pinky for stability, I can also use my non-painting hand, I put it right on the table, bring my painting hand over it could do the outline first and then we fill it in Same thing with the other eye. We're going to put in all the details on the face now. All of our details in the face are going to get added in here, the next few steps. Okay, take a moment on that. Rob Dixon, the background is going to be space. Fantastic. All right, guys, I'm looking at the comment section. May the force be with you and with you, Sarah Smith Dow. Hi, Aiden. How's it going? Kirk, how's it going? Nine years old. I'm sure Kirk is probably your dad. You must be using his account, maybe. Jenny Gosard McMahon. Hi from Cincinnati, Ohio. Hi to Cincinnati, Ohio. How's it going over there? This is the way. Aiden from Puerto Rico. What's happening? Lowe's Mandalorian and Grogu. You got it. You're very welcome. Hi, Aiden. Thank you for being here. Evie and Addie, ages 11 and 6, are loving this. Hi, Evie. Hi, Addie. <laughs> Baby Yoda's 50 years old. Is that right? If I remember correctly, yeah, that sounds about right. 50 years old. What's happening, Emily? Hope you're having fun. Hi, Jolene. Hi to you, too. How do you and your, to you and your daughter Emily? So the inside of the eye. So this is black. I just used just straight black for this, and then for this I mixed some brown, some black, and then the mixture had a little bit of yellow in it already. So this yellow brown mixture I mixed with black, okay, to create this kind of a it's kind of like a really kind of I don't know opaque caramel color, caramelish, okay. But all right, folks, here we go little skinny brush let's move along here black we're gonna start outlining some stuff in black for now so a little bit of water with your black mixture using your little skinny brushes one of your little skinny brushes 
Take your brush, spin it as you pull away from the canvas. Here we go. A little bit, a little bit of detail work. Let's outline the mouth now. Okay. The nostrils. A couple little points on the face. Okay. Now, let's outline the eyes. We're going to take the same black and we're going to outline the eyes. Outside of the eyes. This outlining is going to make the all the difference in the world. The eyes start, start to really stand out after this. Okay. Also, let's outline the head. I'm going to grab a little bit of, I'm going to grab a little more black. Once we give them the wrinkles and the highlights, he's gonna to start to look like Baby Yoda. Okay, so outline the head. Okay, on the inside like that. Also come underneath and outline this part down here. Again, I'm using my little skinny brush for all the outlining. Spin your brush in your paint. Make the point skinnier if you need to make skinnier lines. Also take some of the black and outline the brown part of the eyes. So somebody using Jasper's account says, hi, I'm eight and I have 21 Baby Yoda stuff in my home. Awesome. Tammy, you sure could. Tammy Ron Burdick. You can send me an email to paintingwithjesse at gmail.com and I will send you um, the template. You can also look on the event page under the discussion board. It's right there, okay? Somebody said Gogu, Gogu, Go, Grogu, sorry, is 500. He's either 50 or he's 500, because Yoda was 900, I think. He died at 900, if I remember right, I don't remember now. But I know they, they reach a pretty old, pretty old age. Okay, so let's do the little wrinkles around the mouth, the little frown lines. Okay, right there. Really skinny little frown lines. Let's also outline the ears. Again, folks, if you fall behind, don't worry. Stick around for as long as you can. Keep up for as long as you can. Then afterwards, you're gonna go back and watch the recorded version to catch up, to finish up. Outline the pink part. I know that some of you don't want to do the shading, don't care to do all the little shading, the highlights on the face and on the hands and stuff. So I'll let you know when those are coming up and you decide if you want to continue and do those as well. But that's really what starts to make him look like Baby Yoda, it's all the little wrinkles and stuff. We'll be adding these wrinkles in here in a little bit, so you're not gonna miss out on that, but the shading. The shading is really, really what makes everything stand out. While we're here, we're going to go ahead and outline the hand. The palms of the hands. The actual wrist itself. Now 
Now this is a little bit more subtle a color than this, so this here. And I made that color by mixing a little bit of brown with my brown, my black, so, it does, so it's not as intense. Either one's gonna work though. Okay, again, just going through and outlining a little bit. We're gonna go back to the face now. This is important. This part of it, part here is pretty important. I'm gonna take some black. Bring it over to my plate. Don't need a lot. Now I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a, a light gray. And maybe take a little tiny bit of green and mix those three colors together. Just to, hint of green in there. Lots of white, or more white, a little bit of black, and then a little bit, little bit of green. I'm gonna take some water, again dipping my brush into my cup, bring that water over. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start making all these little details on the face. We're gonna start with the nose. Again, I'm using my little liner brush here. I haven't switched that over. Around my nose. Okay, I'm also gonna take right in here, between the, between the eyes, we have a little arch or an N. Looks like an N, lowercase N, kind of, if you're writing in cursive. Okay, we have this M shape, this wrinkle on the brow to do, right in between the eyes. Don't make it too high because you need space for the two wrinkles above it. So give yourself a little space. But you're basically making an M. Kind of an M anyway. Okay, like that. And then from each point here and here, a little outer upper edges, you're going to come out. Next wrinkle coming up, right in here between the top edge and the top of your M, almost in the middle. A little curve that goes like that, a little curved line. And it comes out, comes over, like that. Over and out. top underneath the eyes now if you wanted to if you wanted to lighten up the outlines around the hand, you can take the same color and just go right over the top. Tone it down a little bit. But it works just as well with the black. Now I am going to take this color and then I'm going to outline my nails a bit. Help, help those stand out a little. I'm also going to outline the fingers. This could also be in black. We're 
we're going to give our Grogu's fingers some wrinkles. Okay, just a few little wrinkles on his hand and his fingers. Nothing super specific. Okay, all these little edges on the inside around his eyes are the little corners on both sides. They're really bright white on the painting that I'm doing now. On the original, they're a bit of a toned down. They're toned down. I use some gray to tone those down. Okay, so so I'm going to take some of that same color that I just made. I'm going to lighten it up a little. So I'm going to take that, bring it over, find anywhere on my plate. It's going to take quite a bit of white. And I mix the two together. I want a really light version of that gray. It's a subtle, a subtle difference, but it makes his eyes, it dulls the eyes a bit. He doesn't have really bright, bright white areas around his eyes. But you, you could leave them like that if you want. It gives him a more innocent look. by toning those down just a bit. His eyes don't stand out quite as much. Okay, work on that for a moment. Oh yeah, it is a little bit of a heart-shaped wrinkle. Somebody says, uh, somebody said, I like my, I like the, oh, Donna says, I like his heart-shaped wrinkle. It is a little bit like a heart. Yep, Fortnite's coming very soon for those of you that would like to do Fortnite. Be on the lookout, stay tuned. Awesome, Brandon Hall, you're very welcome, my pleasure. I know there's lots of little steps involved. We still got about maybe 30, 40 minutes left, okay? So for those of you that can stick around, let's do it. This is where things start to shape up a little bit more. We're gonna start adding the highlights in the face. That's gonna make things really stand out to the on that face. And we're also gonna be, um, we're gonna add another layer of brown to his little costume here. So that's what the next step is before we start adding those highlights up in the face. Okay, so if you need to mix some color, some of the original color that you used on here, go ahead and do so. I still have quite a bit of it left over. So I'm just gonna grab my brush. I am gonna add a little bit of water to this. It's gonna help the paint flow a little bit better. It's gonna smooth it out. And it thins it out just enough so I can make sure I have enough to cover the entire cloak or whatever that little outfit is that he wears. Here we go. strokes right here I'm curving them on this step things are gonna get more even and solid just like on the other previous steps whenever we did a second layer So this is where the more complex, or more refined, I should say, 
steps are involved. We're going to be doing some shading in here. And this color is a little darker than that. I'm okay with that. I'm not stressing about over, over that. Everyone's colors are going to be a little different. If I really wanted to make a lighter color, I could mix another lighter batch and go right over the top of this and that'll help lighten things up, but I'm not too concerned about that. I would simply take some yellow and add it to this, more yellow. That would really brighten up that color and we'd be in business. I'm going to take a little bit of black, a little black, bring it in here, a little section of my paint. Just kind of do this. Doesn't have to be perfectly blended. I'm going to take that color and down in here in the shadow, the darker areas of his outfit. I'll take some of this and just bring it down in here. Okay, I can also do this. Around the sleeve or around his wrist. Over his little hand on the other side. some of the outlines on the on his outfit I will come back later on and outline some of this with the small liner brush to make things stand out a little bit more but for now we're just adding some shading nothing too fancy just try to make it so it's darker down in here and a little bit lighter out this way darker in here and lighter as it goes out Okay, work on that for a moment. Let's look at those comments. We still got about 330 of you guys hanging out. Look at that. Fantastic. So the next one is next Tuesday. The next one currently on the schedule is next Tuesday. And that's going to be, somebody's asking in the comment section. And that's going to be Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. This one's going to be easier to do than today's session. Today's session's a little more complex, open to all ages. I, I imagined I was gonna have quite a few adu adults painting along with this one today. This one's a lot easier to do. I won't say a lot easier, but it's gonna be pretty, in comparison, there's less detail. Okay, but we got Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Next week, I do have a stencil available for that. Look for that under the comments section on the event page, okay, on the event page on Painting with Jesse's where you're going to find, find the stencil for this. You can also email me directly at paintingwithjesse at gmail.com. Paintingwithjesse at gmail.com. And then don't forget, we can have from now or so, I don't remember the exact date, we're going to be doing this one. I call this one Curiosity. Little polar bear looking out at us. And then his family, his mom and brother, or his, maybe it's his dad and mom, I don't know. Dad and brother, or sister, are out looking at the Aurora Borealis lights. This one's much more complicated, okay? This one requires more techniques. Maybe not much more complicated, but it is more complicated uh, than this by a little bit. So I do have stencils available for those as well. All right, so that's uh, that's also on the schedule. Just wanted to remind you guys, or in case you hadn't seen that. Okay, we're getting there. Here we go. Highlights, my green. Okay, going back to our little number four flat brush, or little quarter inch flat brush, quarter inch in width. I'm gonna take my green right here. I'm gonna take some white. I'm gonna pour out some more white because I am out. Take a little white. Hold on one second. Just finding a spot on my plate. Oh. 
Okay, here we go. So I got my green, gonna bring it over, find a little spot. There's already green on my mix plate, but I wanna bring a little bit more over. Don't, I don't need a lot for this. Take quite a bit of white, mix the two together, making a really light green. This is gonna be for my highlighting on the face, on the hands, okay? There's a, there's a light coming over on the right side. We're also gonna be making some hairs, little hairs on top of his head in white, just a little bit. Okay, so there we go. Now, let's see here. Here we go. <clears throat> Grab my light green. Okay, right over the top. So there's more highlights on the right hand side. Actually, we'll start right here. comes around the face, goes under, okay, like that, also right up on top, right along the edge here, these highlights are going to give his face some depth, so I'll go around the eye like this, I did leave a little bit of a space around part of that section, right? So I didn't color in all of it. You could if you want. Then I'm gonna bring this over the top. And it comes over a little bit. It comes over across the top of the head a bit. In here. I do overlap my wrinkle a little bit here and there, but not a lot. Right, my wrinkles, I want to leave those intact. Okay, back to the inside. On the inside of this M part, or heart, looks kind of like a heart. Okay, over the lip, over the mouth. Right here, the chin, the little chin. You got this little round, long oval shape. Over the nose. Step at a time, everybody, step at a time. You got it, Allie, my pleasure. First timer, Allie from Michigan, welcome, Allie. And to all of you other first timers, thank you for being here. And all of you that have been painting with me for a while, welcome back. I appreciate all you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Somebody said mine looks like a pig. <laughs> That's all right. That's okay, everybody's painting is gonna look a little different. Venom. We're going to be doing Venom. Somebody's requesting Venom in the comment section. Venom is coming. Remember, folks, send me your pictures here on Messenger, Painting with Jesse. It, uh, just basically go to the main Painting with Jesse page here on Facebook and send me your pictures. Okay. Again, if you guys can hold your pictures, somebody takes a picture of you or you take a selfie, fantastic. If not, just send me a picture of the painting itself. That's pretty cool too. If you guys are painting in a group, send me a picture of your group. But only send me something if you're over 18. Check with your parents if you are not. Okay, don't send me anything unless you check with your parents first. All right, let's continue with the highlights. Over here on this eye. So if you guys notice, the left side of the face has a lot less highlighting. Most of the light is coming from his left side. So over here we got a little bit. Underneath this eye. Okay, a little bit like that. Over his eye, a little bit also. A 
We're gonna let, the, we're gonna let this dry a little bit. We're gonna go over to the ears. We're gonna add a little highlight over, especially the top part of that ear. Maybe a little bit on this one, just a touch. Some of the light from this side hits the side of his face, but some of it still happens to travel and hit the little outer part of this ear over here. Using the same color, we're gonna give him his palm over here, a little highlight. And then maybe his fingers a little. But just on those curved parts. Thumb. Okay, work on that for just a touch. It is 5.05, we've been painting for two hours. How cool is that? That's right, Yesenia, Venom is coming. Venom is... Super cool. We're going to have fun with that one. Okay, work on those highlights for a bit, a bit, folks. I'm looking at the comments section now. A lot more really fun stuff coming. So you guys be on the lookout for those. Okay, make sure you guys like the page if you haven't yet. If you're new here, or if you've been painting for a while but don't, but haven't liked the page, followed the page, you guys want to follow it so you guys get notifications whenever I post something new. Okay, I want you guys to take a look at your Yoda, your baby Yoda. What I'm going to do now, we're going to add a few extra, a few extra highlights that are a little bit lighter than what we've already got on there. So the same green that I just used, I'm taking a little bit more white, I'm going to mix it in, making it even lighter still. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and in just a few sections, I'm gonna add some right here. Okay, right in there. A little bit on this side of the lip. Right above the eye a little bit. You don't cover the entire existing highlight that we did a moment ago. Cover part of it. You want some variation in there. Maybe up here by the ear, just a little bit. Okay, over here around the side of the head, a little bit, just some parts. Right in here, a little bit more. Again, don't cover the entire existing highlight. Just take a little bit of some of the sections of the highlights that we did a moment ago, and then just on the outer edges a bit. Again, you just want a little bit of a variation. I don't have much paint left on the brush, but I'm going, to, I'm going to come over here to the chin. His little arms raised up, and maybe this is high enough where it blocks some of the shadow. And just lightly now, lightly, lightly. I don't have a lot of paint left on here. So I'm just lightly using the very tip of those bristles, just touching the canvas a little bit, bringing some of the highlight over. A little tiny bit. Again, most of your highlight is on the right side or left side of his face. Just using the tip of the bristles, touching the inside right in here. Okay. Now. I'm going to take the same brush, cleaning it up. I'm going to take a little touch of brown, the tiniest bit of brown. I'm going to take that, this green, the original green that I used for the face. I'm going to mix those two together. I'm going to make a little bit of a darker green here, just a hint darker. You can also do, use a tiny, tiny, tiny touch of black for this, but be careful. Don't want to make this too dark. Make it more of a more of a drab green. It's real subtle. There's not a big difference. There's the two colors next to each other. 
Now I'm going to use this. I'm going to come over on this side. Only on the left hand side of Yoda's face. A baby Yoda. This side over here is a little bit darker than the right side. Again, folks, when you come to my page and paint with me, especially if you're newer to painting, you're going to learn a little bit. This all teaches you something, shading, drawing, okay? If we had just left everything flat, no shading whatsoever, you wouldn't get all this dimension that this is creating. Subtle little things that you can do to make your paintings and your drawings stand out. Take a little step back from time to time. Look at your painting from a distance. One big difference right now between the two is that the whites, the reflection in the eyes here is really bright. And over here on the original, it's dark. Baby Yoda, Grogu has, whenever you see him, I, you don't really see him with really bright reflections in his eyes. He has like a, there's like a, they're dull. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of gray or the, yeah, just a little bit of gray. I'm going to darken those highlights. I'm going to dull them down a bit. You don't have to if you don't want to. Maybe you want your baby Yoda to have really bright reflections in those eyes. But look at the difference. Okay, it does make a difference. All right, work on that for just a little bit. In a moment, we're going to highlight we're gonna all these highlights. I'm sorry, these outlines in black. We're going to go around doing those. We're going to add little white hairs over his head. Uh, we're going to do some outlining on the body here a bit, and then we're pretty much, pretty much done. Okay, so take a moment to finish this up. We're going to start on our black outlining of the pod and anything else here on the inside, the brown parts of his outfit. We're gonna do little white hairs on the top of his head. Oh, can't forget, we gotta do the buttons too, the color on the buttons. Don't know how I forgot those, and we're gonna go ahead and do those in now. So I got that original light blue color, gray blue color that I used for the pot. I'm just gonna fill these in. We're going to make those stand out when I come back. When we come back and outline everything. And it looks like I mixed a little bit of green paint in there with my blue, but no big deal. Not the end of the world. All right. Awesome, Emberly. Ender Dragon from Minecraft, please, says Ethan Nine from Barrie, Ontario, Canada. All right, Ethan, I'll take a look at Ender Dragon from Minecraft. And if it looks really cool, and it probably is, I'm sure it is, we're going to do an Ender Dragon from Minecraft. Okay? So stay tuned for that. Pedro Hernandez, you're welcome. Thank you for being here, guys. There's still about 200, almost 270 devices on, so amazing. Jenna says, thanks, Jesse. It was my son, Declan, Declan, joining you tonight. Uh, he's hoping I can post his finished painting in the comments once the live is done. Thanks for the fun. Absolutely. Absolutely, Jenna. My pleasure. And yes, you will be able to post your finished product in the comments section. I would prefer you send it to me via email I'm sorry not by email but on the messenger part of painting with Jesse because it's easier for me to keep track but if you have a hard time with that or you prefer you can put it here in the comments section 
And then let's see, Chandni is asking, where can I tip? Tip, tip. Chandni, Juniga, Juniga is asking, when, when can I tip, or where can I tip? I'm not sure. Here again, folks, this information is listed in the uh, comments section, or sorry, the description of the video. My virtual tip jar. Venmo, Jesse Mendeville at Painting with Jesse. You can find me on Venmo with my email, Painting with Jesse at gmail.com. Okay. PayPal, paypal.me forward slash painting with Jesse, all one word, very important. And then my Zelle, just my phone number, 951 217 2237. But all right, folks, here we go. Let's continue on, finish up our masterpieces. A little liner brush. We're getting down to the very end here. A little liner brush, some black. I'm just going to take some of this, move it over a little, right above it, take my brush. Mix it, pick up some water, mix that water in really well. We don't want runny paint, so just be, make sure you're not mixing so much water in there that your paint starts to run down your palette. So what I like to do is I'm gonna, when I mix it, I'll hold it up like this, and if my paint's running, it's too much. But that's pretty good right there. I spin my brush, push my brush into the plate, pull away and spin at the same time, makes that point really skinny. Let's do some outlining. I haven't forgotten, we got Baby Yoda's hairs to do. We'll do those last. So, we're gonna start here at the top. Use my finger, all this is pretty dry. Don't put your finger on your canvas unless it's dry. Going around the outside. Okay, just like that. Come around the other side, down. Don't forget this sticks out a bit, right? Comes down, comes back in. here these let's not forget down here this connects also right here the little buttons Also on the inside. Okay, you can also outline the top of Yoda's head, Baby Yoda. Then you want to outline, so right in here, this little line that we created at the beginning when we drew everything. This will start to make things stand out. Outline the outfit. This comes over, this line that comes over the top a little like that. Outline his hand. You don't have to outline the entire hand, just little parts and sections are okay. Like right here. You notice I'm not necessarily going around the entire finger. Just part of it. Part of them. 
right here. Right in here, we're gonna draw a little line, curves over, maybe one up there also. Right in here. And then also over the top, right there. Take a little step back. Let me do that because I like to forget stuff. So taking a little step back, see what we got. So if I'm missing anything, of course I'm still missing the hairs over Yoda's face. I could come in here. I could come in here, come in here and add more to the highlights on the hand, but I'm not too concerned about that. Let's see. Other than the little white hairs over the head, I think we're pretty much done. So take a moment on that. Take a moment on your outlining. Let's take a look at those comments. I'm getting close to being finished, folks. Sounds awesome, Denna. My pleasure. Hope you, hopefully, uh, you know, you're able to send me a picture when you're all done. Chantal, that's an excellent idea. Chantal says, I want a background that looks like he's traveling at light speed, but I'm scared to do it and mess the whole thing up. So, yeah, that is the, uh, that is, you know, the, the potential that it, when you, uh, here's what I would say, practice on something else first. Whether you're painting, you paint this on canvas or a piece of paper, practice your, your, um, your idea somewhere else first. And then when you've got what you want and how you like it, then you come over and do it on this. Okay, do it on the one that you're doing now. That's how I would recommend you approach it. And then somebody asked, can we do a sloth? Yep, a sloth is coming up also. Okay, sloth is coming up in the future, not too far in the future. Ooh, Superman. Charlie says Superman would be cool too. Yep, we got a Superman in our future. Nine-year-old Sebastian loves doing this. He had such a good time. He can't wait for Fortnite. Hi, Sebastian. Thank you for being here. And yep, Fortnite. We're going to be doing Fortnite in the very near future, so stick around, okay? All right, folks, here we go. Little brush. Okay, clean up. I'm going to clean mine up a little. I'm going to be using just white for this next step. Let's see, do I have any? Yep, I have some more white here on my plate. Look how messy my, this is my original palette. That's how messy things get for me over here. So digging a little skinny brush, of course, I spin it so the tip gets really skinny. What are we going to do now? Wow, we're going to give Baby Yoda those little hairs on the top of its head. So... All this is dry, I can put my hand on here. If not, I can put my hand over here like this on my easel and then put my painting hand right over the top of my non-painting hand. I'm just gonna come over and I'm gonna do this lightly. Little hairs, different sizes. It's gonna go across the top. This is our little finishing touch and they can kind of go in different directions, different angles. Maybe they're a little longer towards the top of the head, but it's not gonna make too much of a difference, so up to you. Over the top of the ears a bit too. Again, don't put your hand on the canvas or your whatever it is you're painting on unless it's all dry, so test it first. Otherwise, you're going to get paint all over your hand and possibly move, move that paint to areas that you don't want. Okay, so there we go. And there, my friends, is Baby Yoda, little Grogu himself. So a couple of things. If I wanted to, we don't have time for it, but if I really wanted to refine it, I would come in and do another layer of this 
opaque color in the background. Okay, I could do that. I could also go in and refine some of the areas on the inside. Like do another layer over all of this in here to clean it up a little. I could clean up the buttons. I did those kind of quick and loose, but it still works. I like it. I could do another layer in here of a lighter color, right? Because if I wanted to match this, I could do all of that. There's so many steps that you could do to really make this more refined. But for what we've got today, I am happy with this. Those are just tips for those of the those of you that would go, hey, maybe I can make this even cleaner still, right? Even the original, this one, this one, it's easier to do when I'm on my own and taking my time with it, right? This probably took me about this probably took me about two hours to do, but when I'm doing the step by step, it's a little bit trickier, a little bit harder to get everything just right, like on the original. But it came really close. However, if I wanted to make it look more like this, I would just simply go through and add other layers right over the top of everything, cleaning up my edges a little bit. <clears throat> but, you know, it's just for those of you that might be interested in going through and doing all of that, okay? But anyway, I want to thank everyone that's here today. You guys have been awesome. Don't forget to like the page if you haven't already. If you're new here, make sure you follow the page. Uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff coming up. For those of you that would like to go back to all of my old lessons and check those out. See what's on the um, on that live tab. You want to go to the main painting with Jesse page here on uh, paint, here on Facebook, painting with Jesse. Go to the live tab and you'll see all the old videos there. We've got a whole bunch of them. We've got Pikachu. We got SpongeBob. We've got Hocus Pocus. We got a narwhal. We got all kinds of all kinds of stuff for all for all different ages. For those of you that are new to acrylic painting, when you're all done with your brushes, take them, wash them out, wash them out with a little bit of soap and water, okay? Clean, you know, clean them up a little bit or rinse them off once you're all done. What you want to do with your brushes is reshape them. Once they're clean, once you clean them, you reshape them, put them back into their shape, and then you want to store them either sticking up like this so there's no weight on the bristles, otherwise the bristles will bend and it'll ruin the brushes, or you lay them on their sides. Okay, but again, no weight. Don't store them like this. Clean them up, shape them up, and then put them away. Okay, that's how you would clean those. That's how you can make your brushes last last a really long time. But uh, again, in case I in case any of you missed it, as soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna hit save. It's gonna this tutorial is gonna be listed under that live tab. Don't forget that we've got toothless coming next week, next Tuesday. Then we've got we've got. Um, our little polar bear painting coming up here soon as well. So take a look at the event tab. And then we've got, we're gonna be doing Among Us as well. So be on the lookout for these. Actually just go over to the event tab on the main painting with Jesse Page and you'll find those there. But all right, everyone, just want to say thank you all once again. I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to send me pictures of your, of your uh, masterpieces. I wanna see what you guys Create so send me pictures here on painting with Jesse on the main painting with Jesse page here on Facebook. Simply go to Messenger and send me a picture. Okay, all right, everyone. Just want to thank you guys. A lot of fun stuff coming up. So Fortnite, Minecraft. Uh, somebody requested. There's so many things that have been requested. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff throughout the year. So uh, stick around. Okay, stick around. And then also don't forget, I'll be sharing the pictures that you guys send me. I'll be sharing those tomorrow. So. Be on the lookout for a post where you get to see everybody's awesome masterpieces. Those are always fun to look at. How everybody changes things up to get really, some people get really creative and do their own spin on what we're doing. Everybody ends up looking a little different, so that's pretty awesome. But, okay folks, thank you guys. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of the day and I hope to see you guys all back here next Tuesday, okay? All right, see you guys all soon, bye-bye.